very cool visit. I must tell you, I found it very interesting. Thank you for bringing me to Koinas. just left Koinas and we are, if you have a look at our map, we're going to be taking a tar road all the way through to Kleinsia. I'm looking forward to seeing Kleinsia. Yes, me too. It sounds so pretty. Yes. Ostriches in the road. Or one at the moment, eh? Yeah. It's the male. The females are all looking at him. Oh, the fence is completely flat. Yes. Buddy, you better get out of the road. Look at the motoring. <laughs> I love it when they run. You say when you see them running like that, you see feather dusters. I do though. <laughs> this is still a mining area. We were yep. wondering because of the low fence. Yes. But there's a sign that says mining area. Okay. Kilometers and kilometers and kilometers, eh? Yep. We've been driving down this road to Kleinsia and we've seen these tires stacked next to the roads like this with a danger tape around and we finally figured out that they're indicating there's potholes or dips in the road. Yeah. Kleinsia. Yeah. Diamond route has led us to Kleinsia. Yep. This is another mining town. Looks like it to me. Those gentlemen that I spoke to at um, Koinas said that miners lived here and at Koinas. Lived here at Clancy and at Koinas. Oh, okay. Now, but um, Clancy looks a bit bigger than Koinas. Eh? Yeah. I trust the answer does. PD clients here. Yeah, no, it's definitely bigger, hey? Yeah. Lots, of, lots more little shops. Yeah, definitely. Is. I'm sure the tire shops in these areas do very well. Yep. <laughs> Mining vehicles. Look at those things there. Eh? They 
Like even on tracks. Like it's a museum. Yeah. Now, I would like to know what this is, but no idea. Could it be some kind of a, because it looks as if you made fire underneath there. To heat up something in the water inside here, most probably, because this is insulated. It looks as if you used to make a fire under it to heat this up. But for what? There's a West Coast shopping centre. Oh, that tells us definitely that it's a big, bigger place. Huh? Yeah. But we found out it's a. So it used to be a closed community, eh? The mining community. Yeah. yeah mining town. And then, at its peak, it had like about four thousand residents. That's wild, eh? And then they say by the 2000s the diamonds had started to run out and then it went down to 2000. Okay. But it looks like 2009 is when the mining operations really slowed down and it went down even further. Well I suppose once all the diamonds are gone and the company moves away. Yeah, there's not that activity to no. keep people here. Yeah. But on the upside, there's camping sites, there's B&Bs. Lots of accommodation yeah. establishments, I must say. I want to quickly pop in here and see what shops they have here. Hey, King VIPs. The shop and a bakery and purified water. It's still, it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. A lot of businesses here, in just in this little area. Um, still a lot more to see. So we assume these houses were built by the mining company, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Didn't you read that the, at the peak when it was producing the most, the mining company built a golf course and sports facilities, covered all their utilities. Lots of amenities, yeah. yeah and paid their, paid their utility bills, yeah. That's interesting. I saw something today that I've never ever seen. What is that? Two young girls, one with an apron, carrying a pizza box, walked past me and they went to deliver a pizza at the <laughs> house. Now that is fantastic. Now that's small community, eh? Love that. Some of 
them flat. So that gives us an idea that they were probably for couples or small okay. families. I think I think when the, the mine was operating here yeah, full on, they had buses come and pick up the staff. With 4,000 residents, yeah. I mean, yes. Friendly, nice smile. Friendly municipal workers. Wow. <laughs> the block board. This is the school? Yes, with greenhouses. Tunnels. How great is that? Hey. Tennis courts. One can still play on them. That's for sure. You take the little shrubs out and then put a net over, and you'll be able to play. You're so sweet, calling the little weed shrubs. <laughs> Look at these little camping sites here with their bries. Yeah, amongst. very secluded, eh? Hey? Very secluded. By these bushes. Yeah. And they love their whale vertebrae. All over. Well, they must probably wash out. As decorations. Yeah. Yo, I like. Small but nice. I just want to go back to this. What's it called? The crazy crayfish? I think so. Restaurant. I just think this place could have a vibe. I just get that sensation. Because if you look at the, the, the decorations in front here. Yes. 
car still towing a little boat? Uh, yeah, I think it will be rocking over a uh, holiday season. I'm sure you're right. I love the decorations too. Yeah. really nice. This is really pretty. Yeah, you can get it really turning into like a little holiday community, I think. That since the mining activity has stopped, they've had to adapt and I think they're doing it pretty well. Very chill. started mining in like I don't know a company bought the land in 1927 or somewhere there yeah and it was incorporated into the beers the following year so let's say 28 ish yeah almost a hundred years ago hey it's been going for quite some time It 
looks like property on. it looks like there could have been prefabricated structures around there because if you have a look there are stairs going into something in the middle of nowhere so these might have been prefab houses oh it's true I'm not sure just spoke to a lady and she was kind enough to explain to us how to get to one witze boltong. So it's a pit stop. It's a pit stop for boltong. Yeah. She says the best boltong in town. town. But we're not after boltong, we want drive horse. Well you love boltong more than I do. Yeah but they tend to be making it so that there's no, they don't want to make it fatty boltong anymore. Too health conscious. I want fatty boltong. And yellow fat. Yeah, that. man. Place. Our initial assumption yeah. or thought was correct. It's Compared much to Coinas, yeah. it's very big. Much bigger. Now, could this be a golf? This, is this where the golf club is? I don't see anything. Yes, yes, sir. T. <laughs> yeah. Drive next to it and see. But the clubhouse seems to be okay. Wait a second, yes. how dry the area is I was actually quite amazed to see how green the green was yeah and they had um, great bunkers there as well hey so it's clearly a fully functioning golf course we just didn't see any players that day no We saw these buildings the whole time, hey? Yeah, I think this is where the mining activity is. You're probably right. They all more or less have the same type of fence in front, eh? Mm -hmm. The wooden fence? Yeah. Yeah. See, that is a thing in town. like the rugby club. Yeah. I love those old scoreboards that people still yeah. used to go change every time someone scored. Yes, yes. The rugby field. Some of the 
wording on the board. I'm not going to go down, yeah? Please, no. It just says home team and then visitors and then wickets. There's a cricket club as well. Wickets oh, yeah. and overs, batsmen. So That's they played it. rugby and cricket, yeah. And you see the soccer nets. So we were directed to this place, apparently they make the best biltong in town, so... Claim she had rumors and biltong and an ice cold cool drink. <laughs> that sounds good to me! Good to support um, people like that. Oh yeah. We're restraining ourselves. Yeah. Well, I am. I can't wait to get all of that stuff. <laughs> so we just noticed this here. SAPD, it's Klein Zier. With a Z. With a Z. But on the same building, just around the corner, it's spelt with an S. No wonder we're confused. Yeah. The spelling of the town's name was bothering us. So uh, we chatted to a lady at a guest house and she says that the name of the town was originally spelt with a Z, as in Klein Zier. Klein Zier Angling Club. Now what goes through Klein Zier is the Buffels Refeed, eh? Yes. And then it, uh, they call it Klein Zier because there when it enters into the See, it makes like a little lagoon and they called it clay here because yes, of that. Exactly. Okay. It's a cute name. It is. There is a building. Yep. They got a nice view. Oh, Look at this place, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool place. This is nice. Yeah.
Oh, uh, there's not a soul yet. Yeah. The white sand. I must say they've got a stunning view from the angling club. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. I'm impressed with Clains here, with the way that people have moved away from the mining and now they're turning to tourism and, and you can see they're really doing well with the tourism. You know what I noticed and I was very surprised by it is how many young people there are in town. Loads of young people. Yeah, yeah, very. And that for me is very encouraging. Yeah, it is. No, I enjoyed Clains here. 